Christmas falling on a Sunday is an unusual event. The last time it was on a Sunday was in 2016 and before then it also happened in 2011. It would be another 11 years in 2033 before Christmas is celebrated on a Sunday once again. The date is special but Christians gathered in worship centers today for the significance of the commemoration. God left his space as Lord, he called himself, himself so low and entered the midst and nature of man that you and I will become like God. That is the message of Christmas. We are celebrating the coming of our Savior, the coming, the beginning of the end of our slavery in sin. We're happy that Christ came and that his coming brings uh, to us hope and salvation for humanity. And for us as Christians, it's not just a personal thing, it is our life. Just as the book of Isaiah said, unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and government shall be upon his shoulders. He is the one. It hasn't been the best of years for many people. But the optimism that comes with the Christmas festivities can still be felt. Maybe this year, with the ushering of a new era in politics, uh, we believe that Nigeria and Nigerians will actually begin to see something that is uh, different from what we have seen all over. So next year will be better than this year. We are going into election year next, next year. We are hoping that we get somebody who is a leader that has the heart of men the heart of the citizens, the condition and welfare of the citizens are tired. People are so dejected and they, they, they feel so, so, you know, nothing worth living for some. So that is what the 2022 represented for many people in Nigeria. But we are hopeful that next year, by God's grace, there will be a turnaround and God will make Nigeria great as it used to be. Different expectations as the year comes to an end. Hmm, it's been an eventful year, hasn't it? Well, the common thing is that most people are anxious about the 2023 general election and hope that by this time next year, everyone would have a much better Christmas story to tell about how the last 12 months have been. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Port Harcourt.